Hi, so in this video I'm going to be showing you a scapular protraction exercise that will help with shoulder health uh, and really help with in, in engaging your serratus anterior. Now this serratus anterior are, it's like a hidden muscle or an underactive muscle people don't really appreciate. It helps with the overhead press, it helps to stabilise the scapula and good stuff like that in terms of overall shoulder health. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be lying on the floor. Now there will be different advanced exercises, um, so I'm going to be showing you from the beginner all the way through to the advanced options. Now we have the on the floor where you're lying down fully and you're going to have your arms like train tracks, your head and your chin will be tucked in and all you're going to look to do is drive your arms or elbows into the floor. So drive your elbows into the floor and protract your shoulders and look to drop down and come up. The key is if you have any weak shoulders, maybe the right one or the left one is more weaker, try and drive through that weaker shoulder as hard or the elbow as hard as possible. So driving through the elbow as hard as possible. My left side is a little bit weaker, so I would focus on that more. So push. So I'm really thinking about trying to protract the shoulders so it looks like this. So the advanced moving on is going to be on your knees. So you'll get yourself onto your knees and then you'll learn how to drop and push. Exactly the same, maintaining a good solid neutral spine, maintaining that solid neutral spine as you move through. If you find that after a few reps and you find it a little bit easy, then you can progress again into the full. So this is where you'll be into a full push-up plank position, dropping and pushing. This will really get the shoulder to be working on st stability, um, really get yourself good shoulder health. Now, if you really want to challenge yourself even more, then you can then go into the push-up plank position. And then this is where you'll be on there. And this is a little bit more harder. And this is where the shoulders or the elbows might start to bend. So you need to be aware of the elbows staying nice and flexed, nice and straight, as you learn to go down and up. Give that a go and if you have any questions about anything, please feel free to drop me a DM at any time.